I say, love the background type shit. Let me show you what's in. Damn, I forgot. You have turned up? You have turned up. Yeah, I'm yeah, watching you right now. You just pop up quicker in the morning. We can hold, uh, hold Jeremiah 20. You have something? I'll hold it. Yeah, we're, we're, uh, we're just going to be flowing in the spring. You yeah. get Jeremiah yep. 20 and 8. Yep. Let's go ahead right quick. Just in case we're going to put the scriptures on the comment board. Got it. Oh, you, you got to read that right quick. Yeah. Let's read that right quick. This book of Jeremiah, chapter 28, verse 8. This is a prophet that have been before me. Well, that was a camera for years. So I'm sorry. Kind of. And before thee of old, prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Evil. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Next double honor to the head apostles slash elder bishops of great millstone. The one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible, peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere icons, keep pushing, keep believing, keep the favor. God's the people here for a bit. Got the brother Kabai with me. And the brother Hawaii, Lord, one of this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, look, prophesying once again, your turn up. You see? We're coming in the spirit of Lord Yahweh Shai, who they eagerly call Jesus. But we, so we read evils, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, yeah. Look, you, your ambulance start going <laughs> off, man. That's the time that the ambulance is screaming in the background. <laughs> right. This is the time that we're living in, man. Evils and only evils. Behold, evils and only evils. Mm -hmm. This man is going down right there. Yeah. Whatever it's at. What's going down? Is yeah. it coming through that problem? Not turn down. Not turn. Yeah. Let's get that again. Huh. This is the book. And we do these videos regardless of people here for a bear. The Lord got us out there on the highways and byways regardless of people here for a bear. You see, regardless if an Israelite stop and ask a question, or the Israelite just keep it moving, throwing up the middle fingers, you know what I'm saying, throwing up blicky signs right. and all that, you know what I'm saying? Right. It don't even matter, yo. We got a job to do. They got a job to do. What we, we, we gonna do again, bro? This is Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both we prophesied. We told you what was going to happen before it even happened. You know what I'm saying? Before, before things even pop off, the Lord got us telling you about it. And the Lord said, and if you don't go out there and tell them about it, yep. I'm going to destroy them most definitely. You know what I'm saying? Because they won't warn, but I'm going to most definitely destroy you. You know what I'm saying? Because you you supposed to went out there and warn them. You see? What you getting at? Ezekiel 33? Uh, yeah, if you want it. Yeah. Just that <laughs> point right quick, and then we're going to come right back to that. Uh, Ezekiel 3 and 18. 33. Oh, 33. Yeah. Stocking. Start at one. Done. And then we're, we're going to come right back to Jeremiah. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Ezekiel 33 and 1. It says, And again the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Right. Son of man, speak to the children of thy people. Right. The same thing he told Jeremiah. Yep. Go and prophesy, man. Speak. <laughs> Go out there and teach. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Speak unto my people, the Hebrew Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, right? Yep. Go ahead. It reads on Ezekiel 33 and 2. It says, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people right. and say unto them, when I shall, when I bring the people, it's like it, when I bring the sword upon yeah. the land. Which the sword represents destruction. Yep. Jeremiah just prophesied of that. Prophesied, <coughs> prophesied of that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? A war of evil. Told you what was going to happen before it even happened, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It reads on, if the people of the land take a man of their coats and set him for their watchmen, right. 
if, if he if when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he bloweth the trumpet right. and warn the people. That's the same thing he told Jeremiah. Go prophesy, go warn the people. Ezekiel, you know what I'm saying? He's saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. Our job is to warn the people. Regardless if they here for a bear, man. Just like Noah did. <laughs> Noah warned the people. We gotta keep yeah, we're going. It's all about repetitiveness. Noah warned the people for 120 years. Nobody took heed. You know what I'm saying, bro? Nobody took heed. But everything that Noah was warning the people about, it eventually came to pass. Just like the warnings that we're giving our people, you know? Yeah. Eventually, it's gonna come to pass. Hell, the majority of it coming to pass now. Mm -hmm. And they're ignoring it. <laughs> then you know that that death is gonna be something grievous, something That's sore. Right. That's right. You got it. <clears throat> all the way down to the part about um, if you don't want. Yeah. Yeah. Read all the way down to yep. the part. Yeah. So uh, Ezekiel 33 and 4, Sakia so verse 3, it says, "If when he see the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet, right, and warn the people." Right. We know destruction is coming. We know this devil get ready to come in with great wrath. The word <clears throat> devil means deceiver. <clears throat> Or slander, or sleazy E. Esau, Edom, starting off with their head, the elite banking family. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Amalek. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We know they coming with great wrath, man. Knowing they only got a short time to rule. So the Lord said, "You know all these. Look, I gave you the secrets. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I didn't give every Tom, Dick, Harry, Larry, Curly, and Mo the secrets. I gave you the secrets. I gave you the mystery. Mm -hmm. I gave you the trumpet. Now go blow it. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Go blow it. And we out here blowing it again. You see? Regardless, man, blow that trumpet. Regardless, man. <laughs> yeah, uh, this past uh, camp, uh, some in doves came by. I was like, why y'all so loud? <sighs> the scriptures tell us to be, man. Right. We blowing a trumpet, man. A trumpet's a loud playing this. Right. Oh, oh, since you said that, you know I gotta get this for you. Yeah. Since you said and while that. While you getting that, uh, one of the uh, friends stopped and was listening. And see the other one's like, come on, girl, we gotta go eat. We gotta go eat. See we, got, we ain't got time for this. And say like there's a truck, an 18-wheeler coming down the street, right? And you get ready to step into the traffic, exactly. you know what I'm saying? I see the 18-wheeler, you don't. Mm -hmm. What else was to say? Hey, hey, 18-wheeler, 18-wheeler. Nah. No, yo, yo, bro, 18-wheeler, bro. Yo, yep, exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's it. Then they always worried about, you know what I'm saying, how, the, how loud the message is coming. No, are you taking heed to the message? Mm -hmm. It's all about the message, but I'm going to get this for bro. Huh. Isaiah 58 and 1, yep. cry loud, mm -hmm. spare not. Yeah, we mm -hmm. don't spare the feelings. That's why we're talking the way we're talking, like you said. Oh, if, if, if a bus is coming in, right. you see that, you know, your, your, your buddy, your pal, your yeah. friend. You know, about to step out into the uh, onto the onto the bus ways. Right. You know, but hey, yo, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yo, bro, watch the, get the Especially you love them. That lets you know right there how much love the Lord got for His people, yep. man. Yep. Cause the Lord, you know, saying ain't got us whispering, bro. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Right. The Lord ain't got us whispering. Right. This message needs to be screamed out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This needs this message needs to be spoken at a high frequency, man. That's so it. Israel can hear. Cause it ain't gonna be no excuse. And then if the Lord sent us out to the highways and bibles and we started whispering, yeah. then here goes Jake Thompson. I didn't hear. <laughs> yep. They was whispering. Was whispering yep. I was crossing the street. It was yep. calling them buses riding by, <laughs> and I didn't hear nothing. But look, look. Why didn't you have them screaming? Why didn't exactly. you have them uh, speaking loud like, like a trumpet? Voice. Yeah. yeah. That's it. Isaiah 58 and 1, uh -huh. cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Yeah, a trumpet is a loud playing instrument, man. And you can hear a trumpet from blocks away. They can, hear, they can hear us from, from um, down the street, yeah. man. All right? Yep. It draws attention. <clears throat> when somebody's blowing a trumpet, it draws your attention. You know what I'm saying? That's right. You know. It's a distinctive sound, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like people be playing music and all that, you know what I'm saying? All kind of all construction people, bulldozers and all that shit. Yep. But you're gonna hear that trumpet though. Yep. Out of all that nonsense, you're gonna mm -hmm. hear that trumpet because it's a distinctive sound, you yep. know what I'm saying? The Lord said, cry loud, spare not, mm -hmm. lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions. And why did the Lord say to show his people their transgressions, their go uh, them going off? Right. Going back to Ezekiel 33, which we're reading. Right. You know, look, to get the blood off our hands, man. Right. And so that Jake, or the, the undesirables, are not going to have a cloak for their sin. Right. I didn't know. Like, yeah. you, like, like you were saying, they ain't talking, they're whispering. Yeah. Nah, man. It says, um, in the house of Jacob, <clears throat> their sins. Yeah, the house of Jacob, which is you, uh, tribes, you Israelites. All right. Your, your biblical nationality is Hebrew Israelites. And the Lord told us, Man, just talk with our head apostles, mm -hmm. elders on down to what reprove and rebuke yeah. you with his word. In season, out of season. That's right. <clears throat> yep. Come so on back. back. Yep. Ezekiel 33 and 4. Then whosoever hear the sound. So let me just say this because our people don't really realize, they, <clears throat> they don't even really realize how much rap is coming down the pipeline. Yeah, line. man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody yeah. too busy rapping, dancing, you know what I'm saying? Look, I always got to be like this, bro, in every picture like this. 
You know what I'm saying? What's up with this pose right here? You know what I'm saying, bro? Bro, bro, what's up with this pose right, right here? Dude, I always right. like this. It's like that pose on um, Michael Max, you know what I'm saying, dude? Yeah. We already know what type of pose that is, yeah, man. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yep. They always doing like this, bro. They always like, hmm, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, bro? Yep. What's up with that pose, man? Yep. That's a Masonic pose, man. That's it. These 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 other is like you said, Jews stand in in that in that congregation, them zombies, so <laughs> lost, they don't even know what they had. Just zombies. <laughs> <laughs> they so juiced in, bro. They don't even know what the hell going on. They right. so mesmerized at the dude. They ain't, they, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. A wolf in sheep clothing, man. Yep. But the Lord yep. said, no, saying the whole for that, the Mondos, Israelite groups, he's going to snatch them out of there. By the half of their chin to chin to chin. It's yep. going to terrify them, too, bro. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Smite the shepherd, you know what I'm saying? The sheep going yep. to yep. go flee, man. Yep. You got it, bro. Yep. Back in Ezekiel 33 and 4, it says. Like right about now, you know what I'm saying? They got um, videos going, live streams <laughs> and stuff going on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it, it ain't got nothing to do with warning. Right. You know what I'm saying? It ain't right. got nothing to do with destruction. Right. It ain't got nothing to do with famine, race wars, class wars, the economy. It's crashing. It's, it's, it's June. Right. You know what I'm saying? Husband loves that wife. Marriage right. is every day. Right. You know what I'm saying? I was thinking you know, that. I was thinking walking that. down the aisle all slow right. shit. You know what I'm saying, right. bro? Well, they throwing on rose petals right. at their feet. Right. Come on, man. That ain't the time that we living in, man. I knew you'd be a good man for her. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. It's my only daughter. <laughs> yeah. It's my only daughter. Which ain't nothing wrong with giving your only daughter. You know what I'm saying to a man. You know what I'm saying to serving the Lord. Right. But they nothing really ain't serving that. the yeah. Lord though, yeah. man. Exactly. It's, they're serving on Christos. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Jesus Christos. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know. You go ahead though, bro. Come. This is Ezekiel 33 and 4. It says, Then whosoever hear the sound of the trumpet, right, and take him not warning, right, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. Right, you know what I'm saying? If the sword of destruction come, the Israelites that didn't take heed, your blood is gonna be upon your own head. Mm -hmm. The sound went out, the trumpet was blown, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got it. Yep, it reads on verse five. It says, Ezekiel 33 and five, he heard the sound of the trumpet right. and took not warning, his blood should be upon him. Right, going right back to um, Romans the 10th chapter. They heard the sound of the trumpet, bro. Mm -hmm. But they ain't take warning, man. Like right about now, Apostle Ram Lob, he going live right about now. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Other apostles, other elder bishops, you know what I'm saying? Elders, brothers on down, live streams everywhere, bro. Yep. Either brother putting up a video right about now, yeah, yeah. edifying, what do um, you say? Edification, exhortation, and comfort. You know what I'm saying? Yep. That's why we do these videos. We're not just turning on the camera just to be doing something. Right. You know what I'm saying? We turn these, when we turn on these videos, first edifying. before we even turn on the video, we pray that the lesson will be edifying. Mm -hmm. We pray that the Lord works through us and make the edif video edifying to the nation of Israel. And then we cut the camera on. You know yep. what I'm saying? You know? Yep. <clears throat> it reads on, Ezekiel 33 and 5, it says, But he that take a warning shall deliver his soul. Right. The Israelites that take heed to the word, yep. you're going to be delivered, man. Right. And it takes faith to take heed to the word. Yep. You got it. Yep, verse 6. But then you got guys being seduced, you know what I'm saying, by these false Israelite groups, you know what yep. I'm saying? You know. Yep. The, the Lord ended up getting them sift, you know what I'm saying, bro? The verse apostles always tell the Israelites, man, they're on the brothers in Great Millstone, look, be careful watching these other groups, you know what I'm saying, to get you sifted out, sifted out. You know what I'm saying? The apostles gave all of us warning, man. Yep. Be careful watching these other Israelite <clears throat> groups, man. Because they're not teaching what we're teaching. That's saying you know you start taking heed to what they're saying. Mm -hmm. That's saying you know you start listening to what we're saying. That's saying you know you start taking what they're saying. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And then you start listening to them more. You stop watching the apostles. That's saying right. you know you start listening to them more. <laughs> that's saying you know, you, you, oh, those guys do sound right. Boy. That's saying you know, you get sifted the hell out, man. You see? <clears throat> we're yep. giving you one of all that, yep. man. Yep. You see? And if I may say, then, you know, because this, the, the, uh, this word, you know, uh, these uh, philosophies and doctrines are, 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 are wine. Yeah. And, you know, you start uh, sipping on that wine a little be bit. drunk as hell. Drunk as hell and wake up, where the hell am I at? Yeah, yeah, be you know? staggering. And that's spiritual. Yeah. You're going to wake up and be like, where the hell am I at, man? Right. I was just doing this. Yeah, Not, but then you're going to demon like, hop on you. You got it, brother. Cunt. Ezekiel 33 and 6. Well, but, well, good point, though. Cunt. But if the watchman see the, the sword come right. and blow not the trumpet. See, if the watchman see the sword, if you haven't been given the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures of what's coming, and you don't go warn Israel, go ahead. Yep. It says, and blow not the trumpet. And look, look, someone's on. Um, it ain't going to be no Jacob's trouble. Oh, yeah. I, it, it won't Jacob's trouble at that time. You know what I'm saying? That's what I meant to say. What, what I meant to say was, so that's you being double minded. Mean what you say and say what you mean. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. Say what you mean and mean what you say, man. See, that's what, that's what happens, bro. When you, when you teach the truth, you ain't got to, you know what I'm saying, try to um, re, um, regather yourself. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, right. But when you teach a lie, you know what I'm saying, you got to tell another lie, to cover up that yep. lie. And you're looking foolish the whole time, right? Yep. 
You got it. Yep. <clears throat> I was looking for that the prophet, the prophesied peace. Got oh yeah, that's um, that's Jeremiah. Yeah, it's in Jeremiah. Yeah, yeah that's Jeremiah know. twenty-eight and nine. Yeah, that's Jeremiah okay. twenty-eight and nine. Okay. You want to get it right quick? Nah. Um. Oh, it was that, or you talking about another? There's another one. Um, by him. Uh, oh, it's my Ezekiel the fourteenth chapter. Yeah, 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 yeah. But look, I, 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 yeah, finish yeah. Let's finish that first. Yeah, because uh, Ezekiel thirty-three. And six, it says, but if the watchman see the sword come and blow down the trumpet, and the people be not warned, right. if the sword come and take away any persons from among them, he is taken away his iniquity, right. but his blood will require the watchman's hand. Right. So if the men of the Lord don't keep going out here to the highways and byways, right. stop making video. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Well, I, got, I got to do another video. Another I got to do another, another video. One. But the Lord said you got to keep warning them, man, because exactly. if you don't warn them, they're going to die, but their blood is going to be required yeah. at the watchman's right. hands, man. That's right. And hey, look. I just feel, make, make a statement. Bro. Now, just real fast. The scriptures tell you in um, Sirach, the second chapter. More than I lost patience. Right. You know, you don't do the work, you don't want to do the work, you lost patience. Yeah, you got tired of suffering. You got tired. You can't make no money being out there with the brothers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My <laughs> woman want me to spend more time with her, brother. Man, look. Can't, can't you understand, brother? All right. We got a job to do. We was put on the earth to do a job, man. You know? We got a job to do now. That's right. You know? Remember what we signed up for, man. But you gotta, you gotta balance that out, man. Of course. Between you and your woman, I'm saying how much time you spend with her. But the Lord wanted the majority of our time, man. We're, right. we're living in that time. We put something drop. Yeah, I thought it was drop, but it ain't no telling. Yeah. I didn't see this in the forecast. Yeah. But, I ain't no telling. Lord can do whatever you yeah. want. Yeah. You yeah. know? Plus, we down in town. <laughs> yeah. That's how what's coming off these buildings. I know it's a hotel up there, though. I don't see no windows open. Yeah. So ain't no. nobody dropping no water bombs on us. Yeah, no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? No eggs or nothing, but if they do, oh well. Right. That restaurant packed like hell, ain't yeah, it? They packed the day, right? Yeah. And, uh, look, 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 everybody eating and drinking, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Marrying, even in the marriage. marriage. Why the prophets of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? I prophesy, man. That's right. And I'm going I'm to get that. After you finish that, was that the last verse on that? Um, Last verse, verse 7. So yeah. thou, son of man, I have set thee a watchman to the house of Israel. Therefore, thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them. From me. See, the Lord said he don't give a damn what, what you got going on in your life, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the Lord can say, give him one from me. Because mm -hmm. if you don't, I'm going to destroy them most definitely, and I'm most definitely coming for you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I got a spirit created just for you. Yep. You don't want to take heed, I got a spirit created for you then. You know what I'm yep. saying? And you, yep. you can't escape me. That's you right. can't escape me. I don't know. Lord, the Lord, like, I don't give a damn if you move to Afghanistan. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, you, and you hide up on a rock somewhere. You build you a, um, a mud castle house. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> look, look, look. I'm going to send a spirit creator of Venice over there to meet you. You know what I'm saying? It'll be over there waiting on you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So thou son of man, I have made thee a watchman to the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them one from me. That's what the Lord commanded us to do, man. Yep. So we here, man. Yep. You know? Let's sit on that, bro. Uh, yeah. So let's, finish, let's go back to Jeremiah 28 huh. and 8, finish that off, and then I'm going to get this Revelation um, 19 and 10 for you. Because this, uh, uh, this is a year I, turn up. You already had it. I was yeah, read that then, bro. Because okay. this, this is the year turn up. Huh. Ever since so called January the 1st, bro. You know what I'm saying? So called January the 1st. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's, it's been turned up, bro. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. The Lord, you know what I'm saying, destroyed a false prophet. You know yep. what I'm saying? On the first day of the so called <clears throat> new year, yep. 2022. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And look, look, bro, it ain't lit up yet. The Lord ain't lit up yet, man. Right. That's right. See, the, 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 the scriptures say we're supposed to be afraid of the judgments of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Look, remember the Lord said, I, I chose you. You didn't choose me. Mm -hmm. So the Lord gave, gave us a job, you know what I'm saying? Right. So you know this thing deadly serious. Right. You don't play, you don't play around with the CEO. Right. You got it, bro. Revelation 19 and 10. Right. It says, and I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said to me, son of man, suck it. See thou do it not. Right, it's John the Revelator seeing an angel. He got ready to bow to him. The angel was like, nah, nah, don't bow to me. <clears throat> Go ahead. Yep, it says, I am thy fellow servant. Right. And of thy brethren. See, the angels are our brothers, man. Mm -hmm. The Lord got the angels that camp round about us now. Yep. Because we fear the Lord. You know, what it say? I, the angels that camp round about them that fear him. You want and, and he delivered them out of all their troubles. I mean, if you, you want to get it right quick. Everything that you see right now, it's going, it's going to be um, belly up soon. Come, man. I'm going I'm to I'm hold that. Um, I'm gonna hold that Second Peter for you, though. Okay. This is Psalms 34 and 6. Plus, the Lord said, "Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling." Anyway, okay. you know. Okay. 
You got it. This is uh, Psalms 34 and 6. It says, This poor man crieth, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. Right. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him right. and delivereth them. That's right. So we got angels around us right now as we read, as we do this video. Yep. Making sure everything goes well. That's why that's why them spirits just got them people just going on past. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You know. Plus we just came down here so so uh, many times. We, we pretty much part of the we are regular now. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Oh, oh those, those guys just be videotaping this stuff. Yep. That's all. You know what I mean? Yep. You know what I mean? They don't know that we out here prophesying the downfall of this yep. place. I got one more. Yeah, I got that Philippians. I got your own salvation with fear and tremble. Kind. You want there? You want to read that first? Uh, we'll read this first. Yeah, go ahead. Just backing it yep, up yep. real quick. Wisdom of Solomon three and one. But the souls of the righteous are in the hand of Yahweh. But the souls of the righteous <laughs> are in the hand of the Lord, the elect. Mm -hmm. You got it. And there shall no torment touch them. Right. That was cool. So Lord, one, we of that number. We good. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Just look. Better keep prophesying. Better keep prophesying, constantly pray to the Lord to keep his spirit in you to prophesy. Yep. Um, Psalms 51, 9 through 11. Yep. Constantly praying yep. that each and every day, man. Because yep. sifting season don't stop, man. Sifting season ain't never stop. Yep. You see? Just because it was summertime, sifting season stops right yep. now. Because yep. uh, we're in fall now. Yeah, we're in fall. We're in fall. Sifting season is going on right now. Always. You see? Yep. Always, man. This is Philippians chapter 2. Verse 12 and it reads, Wherefore, my beloved, mm -hmm. the elect. Yep. House of David. House of David. It says, um, as ye have always obeyed, mm -hmm. not as in my presence only. Right. But much, but more, but now much more in my absence. Yeah, just like when you, when, when your parents are around, man. What do you right. Mean, you, you know, what is he? Button up straight. I know, you, right, you bro? <laughs> Chest out, bro. Right, right. You know, you're doing as they command because they're in your presence. Right. All right, but when your parents aren't around, you tend to what? kind of let easy let go yeah nah man the lord says much more is, is, is he's not around but right be even more on point yeah even more disciplined in the scriptures yep. man more fearful more fearful you know more attentive to yep. what's being taught you know what i'm saying yep, yep. more circumspect you know what i'm that's saying right. that's right it says um work out your own salvation with fear and tremble and here it goes work out your own salvation so our, our mindset should be on working on how we gonna get up out of this right thing, you know right and it starts with fear yep once that fear leaves you hey look man pray fast hey look you saw what king Saul was trying to do yep even he had the uh uh uh, uh, uh the spirit to realize the spirit was leaving him right you know <clears throat> it's now, like it's like Right now, you most definitely supposed to be working out your salvation with fear and trembling. Mm -hmm. Your own salvation. Ain't nobody don't want to take heed or well. Family <laughs> members don't want to take heed. Oh, freaking yeah. well, man. Yeah. You see? The Lord said, no, I'm saying this is the time you're supposed to be fearing me the most. Yep. Don't get caught going right back. And I got um, St. Luke 21. Yeah. You don't want to be getting caught up in the affairs and the cares of this life, man. Yeah. You you more caught up in what the world got going on than fearing the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. That's going to show. You know? And, and then more and more judging. And then that's how you know you started getting judged all the damn time. And you're trying to figure out why. What's going on? Man. You know what I'm saying? Right. I got I got a priest. I don't want to bring this up right quick, bro. And yeah. then we'll go, then we'll go right. we just flowing in the spirit anyway. Yeah. And then we're gonna go right back to that Jeremiah. And that revelation. Yeah. Okay. We never finished that. No. Let's finish that right quick then. Okay. Revelation 19 and 10. It says, And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said to me, See thou do it not. See thou do it not. We ain't worshiping angels. Right. We worship, the, we worship the, um, the creator more than the creature. You know what I'm saying? Right. You got Jake out here worshiping the creature. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? American idols and yep. setting people up, worshiping them. Nah, man, we worship the heavenly father and the son. Yep. Now, we follow men, you know what I'm saying? But we worship the heavenly father and the son, you know? Yeah. We follow the men that the Lord set up, you know? That's what Paul said. Yeah. And look, look, we thank the Lord. We thank Yahweh by Shimei Abishai. That's right. For the head apostles slash elder bishop of great millstone, man. All right? That's right. You got to know who you following out here, man. Mm -hmm. You see? Yep. Shit, you fuck around and start you end up following a madman. You end up following a guy that just have right. everybody you know saying walk off the cliff. Yep. You end up following a type dude like Jim Jones. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, <laughs> and, and everybody end up drinking the Kool Aid, man. <laughs> right. Fuck, next thing you know, everybody on on their back, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, with their legs kicking up in the yep. air, bro, yep. like a roach and shit, when yep. it's about to die and yep. shit. Yep. Come on, man. <laughs> Good. It reads on Revelation 19 and 10. It says, "I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren." To have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Right. Worship Yahweh 
for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. And that's the spirit that we come in. We come in the spirit of the Lord Yahweh Shai, prophecy. Telling you what's going to happen before it even happened, man. And, and it's happening now. That's right. It's happening now, man. <clears throat> this devil really about this. The Lord is revealing everything now, man. That's right. So this devil really about to come in now, bro. Yeah. Look, look, what they say? Um, put your seatbelt on. You see, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's going to be a bumpy ride show enough, man. Yeah. That was in on that, bro? Yeah. I want to get this right quick for you. This is um, St. Luke chapter 21, verse, um, let's see. You start up with what? Yeah, I'm going to start at um, 31. Huh. Let's see. Yeah. St. Luke 21 and 31. Yep. It says, um, <clears throat> so likewise, ye, when ye see these things come to pass. Yeah, the signs the Lord told us about. All right? The, the, the signs we will be watching for, measuring right. the times for. Earthquakes in diverse places, yep, up I, doors. I got some of you. Come, come, come. I mean, after you finish saying what you got to say. Now let the scriptures This is St. Matthew chapter 24. <laughs> Let's get it in then. St. Matthew chapter Bring it out. Bring it out. Remember one of them I used to see this dude screaming his ass. Dude trying to read and everything. You just yelling, bring it out over the dude. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's trying to bring it out. You know what I'm saying? You said bring it out. Right. He's trying to bring it he out. But then you steady, you, but you're talking about you steady hollering, bring it out. Yeah. Can he bring it out then? Yeah. So we're going to bring it out. St. Matthew. 24 and 6 and uh -huh. you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars yeah and we're hearing that man we've been hearing that for the longest man all right and saying it. and saying it one seeing it. yeah seeing it. yeah going back to Habakkuk the second chapter though it's yep. waiting for it it's, it's, it's been constant wars man yeah <clears throat> but these wars are intensifying yeah. now because we're at the end mm -hmm. and they're more deadly now because now everybody got nuclear <clears throat> capability now yep so this one, this one right here is gonna be with burning and fuel of fire. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Isaiah 9 and 5. Yeah. You know, and we, we, we might throw that in there too. Might it says, well. um, yeah, and well, you friend. might as well, right? <laughs> and you should hear, might as well. And you might as well. Let's <laughs> go, let's <laughs> go. And you should hear wars and rumors mm -hmm. of wars. And look, that's what I'm saying. Guys don't want to prophesy. Right. As much as fun as we having right about yep. them. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It's a blessing to be able to come out here and prophesy the downfall of this place, man. A place that had us in captivity for hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. We finally got the knowledge to know, according to the Bible, that this place is going down. I'm saying this is a joy. Just music to my ears, man. Yep. Nothing else sounds better than this song right here, man. You see, the song of destruction and death. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Destruction and death and deliverance. Right. You know what I'm saying? Three Ds. Triple D. Triple D, man. <laughs> you see, um, destruction. What else I say, bro? Death and Destruction, death, and deliverance, man. Right. Triple D, man. That's right. You see? You can bring it out right quick, bro, and then we'll continue on. This is Isaiah chapter 9, verse 5. You got no light over there? Yeah, yep, yep. Look, look. And more ambulance is in the background. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You got it. It says, Isaiah 9 and 5, for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise right. and garments rolled in blood. Right. It's going into the ancient battles because we're hearing here, you know what I'm saying? You're going to hear wars and rumors of wars. Mm -hmm. So it's going into the ancient wars, how the ancient battles were fought, man. Yep. Swords, shields, bucklers, you know what I'm saying? Helmets, horses stampeding, shaking the damn ground, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Guts everywhere, blood everywhere, guts, blood, yep. um, ass cheeks, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Everything, eyeballs, brains, you know what I'm saying? Horses hair, trampling. hair over there, yeah. Four horses trampling, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You know. It reads, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> So in the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 5, for every battle of the warrior is with a confused noise right. and garments rolled in blood. Right, oh yeah, can't forget, you know what I'm saying, the um, attire that they got on all yep. soaked in blood, you know what I'm saying, from being stabbed, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, in the chest and the stomach and all that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because you just roll right on off to the ground, bro, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you can't do no, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just fall down, right? <laughs> you got it. It reads on. And garments rolled in blood, but right. this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. But this war, you know what I'm saying, shall be with burning <laughs> and fuel of fire. This is going to be a nuclear war. This is going right. to be a nuclear holocaust, man. Yeah, man. America's going to be that lake of fire, and then America's going to shoot their nukes, you know what I'm saying? And it's going to hit certain parts of the earth, you know what I'm saying? This place, Babylon, is going to be totally annihilated. Only when the smoke clears, you know what I'm saying? Right. Only thing that's going to dwell here is desert creatures, man. And the land of Israel, it's going to get hit with nukes and be destroyed. But it's going to be rebuilt, though. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got it, bro. That was the end of that. But this yep, shall yep. be with burning and fuel of fire, man. 
They ain't create the ICBM. When we yep. go through this all the time, they ain't create the ICBM missiles to go into a museum right, beside yeah. the old telephone booth, right. beside the old um, dinosaur bones, bro. Nah, man. <laughs> Those nukes are going to be used. And then they got the hypersonic ones, bro. Yep. Shit, they can get over here in less than 15 minutes now, bro. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Missiles can actually get over here in less than 15 minutes. Now, what is these people going to do in 15 minutes? Right. What can these people possibly do in 15 minutes? Yep. The only thing, the best thing for you to do is start, uh, just stop and pray. Because remember the news, um, they uh, was a false flag for Hawaii a couple yep, yep, years yep, back. Yep, Regular people, what yep, should we do? Should I wash yep, my clothes? Yep. Women was thinking about washing their clothes, bro. Yep, to, yep. To, to, do I need to go finish <laughs> keep cooking my dinner? Motherfucker, noose is coming. All right, right. First thing you should be thinking about is a dinner. Yep. You know what I'm saying? The first thing you should be thinking about is the Lord. So then as you know, when all hell break loose, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. People going to be thinking about something to eat, bro. Yep. Or, or smoking a blunt or something. You don't think you can hear boo, 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 right. boo, boo, boo. Right. You got it, bro. I saw a, a video clip uh, today, and it was uh, funny you say that because it was interviewing people. What would you do if you had only like 24 hours to live? Yeah. It was straight nonsense. If I only had 24 yeah. hours to live. Right. <laughs> it was straight nonsense going to some of the stuff you were saying. Yeah. And then one chick was like, Giving BJ's. Yeah, see what I'm saying? <laughs> Stocking up at BJ's. You got no, 24 no, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Giving BJ's. Oh, yeah, giving BJ's. <laughs> into the missile. Ain't that crazy? <laughs> giving BJ's into the missile drop. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Oh, man. With it, with it, with it dead in your mouth. You know right. what I'm saying, bro? Oh, uh, man. So we're going to go right back. Yeah. St. Yeah. Matthew 24 and 6. Uh -huh. And you should hear wars and rumors yep. of wars. See that ye be not troubled. Yeah, see, this, this troubles a lot of people. They worry about the draft. They yeah. worried about because look, they've been gas wicked. prices going gas up. Gas prices. Yeah. And look, your spirit. Your, your, tell you, you've been wicked. Right. You know what I'm saying? The Lord. Look, a lot of our people, man. Because like they have one in Russia. They um, they was putting deadbeat dads in the draft. Damn. And I saw an article on that, man. See. You know, so hey, look, the war scares people. Yeah. All right, but we know that these things are come to pass because it's Bible prophecy. And then you got people shooting themselves so they won't get drafted. Yep. Shoot, you know what I'm yep, saying? Yep. Breaking arms, breaking yeah. limbs, just so they ain't got to go into the so that, man's then that's saying, no, they like your um, 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 wrap them up and send them out there. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> and then you're on the battlefield, you know what I'm saying, injured like hell. <laughs> <laughs> then you're on the battlefield, injured like hell, you know what I'm saying? That's what you look, 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 got you, bitch, right. you know what I'm saying? That's what you get, though, man. With a crutch, with crutches. <laughs> right, you know what I'm saying, bro? The fingers work. <laughs> a crutch is some band-aids, you know what I'm saying, bro? No, I'm gonna tell you to go wrap your own shit up, you know what I'm saying? Know, right? Just throw you out there, you know what I mean? Throw his ass on the plane, you know what I'm saying? Right. Drop his ass in Beirut somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Hey. I got a quick precept. Okay. This is um, Sirach chapter 40, <laughs> verse 9. Yep, yep. You, you say they scared, don't they say because they wicked as hell, yeah, right? Yep. Sirach chapter 40, verse 9, death and bloodshed, mm -hmm. strife and sword, mm -hmm. calamities, yep. famine, yep. tribulation, and discourage. Yep. These things are created for the wicked. Yeah, that's what you're about to see play out in these latter days. That's why they're scared, yeah. Because these things are, are, are written in the scriptures, and we know that these words are faithful and true. Mm -hmm. They're going to come to pass because the Lord has spoken it. Man. Yep. And yep. that's what's putting fear in a lot of these people. Mm -hmm. they, they finally start starting to see that it's coming to pass. Yep. Now. Cause like like yep. like we always say through the yep. spirit, grandma talked about it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Granddaddy talked about it yep. years ago, you know what I'm saying? It ain't, you know what I mean? Everybody been talking about it, everybody been talking about it. It ain't it ain't coming, it ain't coming out of my lifetime. Now yep. they're seeing, damn, it's gonna happen in yep. my lifetime. Yep. Yep. You know what I'm saying, bro? Yep. People are saying to themselves, now it is gonna happen in my yeah, lifetime. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, yeah. You see? Yeah. It says, um, it says, um, <clears throat> look, these things are created for the wicked and for their sakes came to uh, That's why the flood came, man. That's why the Lord, uh, the first death, the Lord brought uh, 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 water from the sky. Yeah. To tell you in Genesis the third. Open up the heavens. Right. This is Genesis the third or second chapter. That it never rained on the earth before, right. man. Right. All right, all because of what Jake was wicked. Yeah, you know. You you had some for our prophetic yeah, Matthew. Oh yeah, yeah, slack. Yeah, yeah. Straight to the point. Ezekiel twelve and twenty five. And I still got this loop. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna come, go yep, back to yep, you. yep. Says for I am the Lord. I will speak, and the word that I speak shall come to pass. Right. And how does the Lord speak through His servants and prophets, man? Yep. You see, people started getting nervous now because I remember you no know, saying. Um, <laughs> 
first, you know what I'm saying, um, being enlightened <clears throat> to the truth or whatever. Uh-huh. Yeah, mad mark. Man, every time you turn around, you was thousands upon thousands upon thousands of markers and scholars, bro. They went never lit up, man. Mm-hmm. Then that number started shrinking, shrinking, Wonder. shrinking, yep. shrinking, shrinking. And you got a um, scoffer here and there every mm-hmm. now and then. But the majority of the people that was scoffing, you know what I'm saying, years ago, you know what I'm saying, 15, 20 years ago, they, they ain't nowhere to be found now, bro. Yeah. Shit starting to hit. So, something happened to them. Some judgment came upon them, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You got it. Ezekiel 12 and 25, yeah. for I am the Lord, right? I will speak, and the word that I speak shall come to pass. Right, the Lord said the word that he speak shall come to pass, because these words are faithful and true. Mm-hmm. The Lord speaks through his service. Everything that we speak coming straight out of the Bible, that's, yep. that's why it's coming to pass. See, yep. if it was our words, it wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't hold no weight. That's right. But, that's a, all right, bro. All right. But this is the words of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? So that's why it's coming to pass. That's right. And I just seen something. I just seen something light up over there. It flashed, you know what I'm saying? But then it went back. It didn't flash no more. I think it was a chariot. Because I don't see no type of plane in that. Yeah, I don't see a plane. Yeah, it was like coming from that direction right there. Yeah. Which we know we know we got this chariots all around, man. Yeah, we just read it. Psalms 34. Well, there's a chariot right there, though, right above the building. Right there, yeah, there's a chariot or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we got chariots. We got chariots around us, man. In the midst of the buildings, man. That's it. Let's go, man. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Let's go, man. We've been saying let's that. Go. All these good people be watching us. Go, go, Glorilla been watching us. Oh, We've been yeah. saying let's yeah, go. Yeah. Brothers yeah. been saying let's go. I know, right? You see? <laughs> you got it, bro. Yep, finish it out. Ezekiel 12 and 25. Right. It says, It shall be no more prolonged right. in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word and will perform it, right. said the Lord Power. Right, because people have been saying, y'all been saying this for a long time, mm-hmm. ain't nothing gonna happen, this ain't yep. gonna happen. Look, 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 where's the race wars at? Where's right. the anarchy at, you know what I'm saying? Right. Where's the, um, the, the FEMA camps, yep. you know what I'm saying? It's June! Right. Right. Look, look, where's the C here, right. where, Where's the robot dogs, you right. know what I'm right. saying? Right. Where's the robots going from door to door? Right. It's coming, it's, it's coming, because the Lord said he's not gonna prolong his word anymore, you see? That's right. Y'all always throwing them so-called UFOs. Mm-hmm. Well, hey, we just seen, we just seen five or six of them Saturday. Right, what are you talking right, about? Right. What are you looking at? Are you looking, oh, I see him. I see him. Right. You see? Right. That's that's the curse that going forth throughout the earth, man. Mm-hmm. You see? Deliverance for the elect of the nation of Israel, a curse for two-thirds of these heathens, man. That's and, it. and the horn beat. Yep. And the horn sounded off. Yep. That, was that was a train. train. That was a train. You know what I'm saying? Yep. yep. You got your ticket? Right. That's what we're fighting for. you got your for. ticket. They're going to train. Hope you got your ticket. That's you know right. what I'm saying? You got it, bro. That was it, that, that was it. That was it. That was it. So let's go right back. Say Matthew 24 and um, 6. And you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. Uh-huh. See that ye be not troubled. Right. For all these things must come to pass. Mm-hmm. But the end is not yet. Yeah, the end is not yet, man. Why? Because you got uh, what we were talking about, uh, yep. World War Three, the Third yep. World. And then you got what? The, uh, the issuing of that uh, sea hill. Yeah, which is going to come first. Come first, yeah. They're going to yep. make it mandatory that you chicks take that sea hill, man. And you're going to be able to buy or sell. And we're going to see who's laughing their ass off on that day. You know what I'm saying? Well, y'all got to stand that right. long ass line. You know what I'm right. saying? You know. Yep. And, and, you, and you finally realize that it's not an embargo. Yep. And you, you finally realize that it's not sleeping with a white one. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying, bro? Oh, and you finally realize that it ain't Christianity. You know what I'm saying? All that other nonsense mm-hmm. that Jake was teaching, man. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and and, and reading really on, and it says, um, because we're going into the signs that the Lord said, no saying yep. going to be happening, right? Yep. It right. says, um, for nation shall rise against nation, uh-huh. and kingdom against kingdom. Yeah, all these nations and kingdoms are rising up against each other, man. Because going back to Psalms, the second chapter, why they do heathen ra- uh, rage. rage and imagine the vain thing. Everyone's fighting for that position of power yep. because they see that America's on its last leg, man. Right. And everyone wants to take it, but hey, look, that's why they're fighting, man. Military stress <clears> thin. <throat> you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You see the majority of people that's in the military, they... Doing TikTok. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, doing all type of TikTok. No, I'm talking about... Oh yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. But but TikTok too, you know what I'm saying? But the majority of the people that's in the military, they yeah, yeah, like yeah. with Fred Sam was saying, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Just look, especially compared to Russia's military, mm-hmm. Iran's military, even China. China's, yeah. China got a um a, a billion standing standing army, man. Mm-hmm. This this is this is the troops, y'all. North Korea. A billion, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. Just imagine a billion, bro. Come on, man. Yeah. And, and they've been getting trained you know, since, they, since they was like three or four or yeah, five, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
they ain't been over there playing video games, you know what yeah. I'm saying? You know, playing with Poopsie and all that. Nah, man, know, they been right? on the ground, you know what I'm saying? Uh, crawling on their stomach and all that, you know what I'm saying? Going through holes up on the ground and all that, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Jumping and all that, yep. you know what I'm saying? Getting punched in the stomach hard as fuck, like, woo! Yep. You know what I'm saying? Know, he right? knocked to the ground, <laughs> wrestling like hell. Look, look, real Mortal Kombat, man. Yep. But what Jake's over here been doing, just eating at the damn ice cream parlor. Yep. You know what I'm saying, bro? Eating yep. slushes and shit. Yep. You know what I'm saying, bro? Riding the bike, you know what I'm saying? But they've been dodging bombs and shit. <laughs> fucking um, side of their building, blowing the hell off. You know what I'm saying? They've been waking up to this, man. Mm -hmm. wait, wait till you hit the shores over here, man. You yep. just wait, man. This is a nation shall rise against nation. Uh -huh. You can have them race wars, class wars, civil wars, or the, them economic woes, gas prices about to be off the chain. You about to yep. pay probably like $50 a gallon soon come. Yep. Oh, they said you got 25 days left of, of natural gas. Uh, of diesel. Yeah, of diesel. Diesel, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. The Lord doing all this, man. Mm -hmm. It says, um, and kingdom against kingdom. Yep. And there should be famines. Yeah, famines, a, a lack of resources, lack of food, bread, water. All right, the Lord's been short. Look, uh, 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 baby formula. Yeah, yep. Uh, 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 diapers, uh, 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 pads for the women. Oh yeah, they got people on, on the internet selling that um, one thing of baby formula for like a thousand dollars. See, yeah, it's about you know to get saying? real, man. One dude, you know what I'm saying, it bought up real. all the damn, um, yeah. One dude bought up all the damn baby formula. You know what I'm saying, come on, bro. He bought, he bought like over a thousand cans, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? He had he had him in his house, bro. It was so stacked, bro. It was stacked. This dude back to go in his house, bro. It was stacked up, man. Yeah. It was stacked up. You no, know? so if I find that video, I'll send it to you. Yeah, yeah, it was stacked up, bro, to the ceiling. So what this dude, you know, so I, matter of fact, I think he had a storage place. Yeah, we yeah. had him. And if I may you say, you heard about it, right? Nah, nah, you gotta yeah. show me that one. Yeah. If I may say for the, you know, the elect women out here, the got younger children that need these types of things, don't worry. Right. Don't worry, because the Lord is, is, is look, they're stacking up for you. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Remember, uh, Isaiah 65, the servants yep. of your house, you know, child are going to eat, man. Now, how, how do you let um, <laughs> ladies serve the Lord? By serving your husband. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Or helping out the ministry. That's right. You know? It's going gonna, it's gonna to always pay off. That's right. Anytime you do something for the Lord, it's going to always pay off, man. Mm -hmm. You see? Oh, yeah, what to say? Um, don't be worried and well doing. Yeah. When it comes to doing something yeah. good, don't be all worried. Yeah, Should I worry. do it? Yeah. I don't know if I want to do it. Should I do it? I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Do it. That's right. Do yeah. it. What to say? Um, to him to know that to do good yeah, and do it or not, not. It's, it's sin to them. Yep. You see? Yeah. Plus, you're gonna receive that prophet's reward. Right. Yeah. You know, give him a cup of water. Something yep. to effect. The Lord gonna have you um, getting delivered from all type of situations, mm -hmm. man. It's gonna, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be through out here, man. Yep. Reading on though, for nation shall rise against nation uh -huh. and kingdom against kingdom, yep. and there shall be famines and pestilence and Ooh. earthquakes and diverse places. Pestilence, man. Look, that they, they keep talking about these different uh, pestilence, man, coming back in full effect and this, that, and the third. That's the scripture speaking, man. Yep. We're at the end of this thing, man. No need for us to get weak, get weary. We're supposed to be pumped up and hyped. Now you yep. have your days where you, you know, because that's a balance. But at the right. end of the day, man, your overall thought process should be happy, man. Yep. But the, the, what the Lord said is coming to pass. That's right. Earthquakes, the yep. last month, I mean, even now. But he, shit, I mean, this month, shit, okay, this month, right. 8,000, right. this month alone, what's the date, the 22nd? The 24th. 24th, yeah. 4,815 earthquakes this month alone. <laughs> in diverse places and that's why our people don't believe because this is now in the news you had a um, 6.7 in uh panama see you had a 5.6 in tonga see you know what i'm saying see? look at this shit right here though bro a 7.3 a 7.6 a 7.0 a so like a 6.8 a 7.6 a 6.6 bro see see what i'm saying see look, look. all in diverse jake, places jake jake yeah we well, you know Jake Doyle all Yeah, that, see what I'm saying, know, bro? Yeah. You know, and, 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 and this is why our people don't believe these things, because Esau's not telling you. That's why you got to go to the true prophets, man. So if I had apostles and elders of great Nelson mm -hmm. on down, man, it's going to look, give you the straight skinny, what's going on throughout the four corners of the earth. That's right. Because we have been called to what? Measure the times, man. Mm -hmm. Second like Edwards the ninth chapter. It was today Monday, right? Okay. Look, 131 earthquakes today. Well, 136 earthquakes today, bro. Man. You know what I'm saying? In diverse places. See? So, so most definitely, the prophecies are speaking, man. Okay. All right? It says, um, all these are the beginning of sorrows. All these, and you can see it, man. Imagine catching a pestilence and can't can't go to a, a, a Esau to get, uh, the, uh, to get a cure yeah. because the Lord don't want a cure for it. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you imagine that? Having to just die slow? Yeah. That's what's die here. slow, bitch. <laughs> That's what's here, man. Right. You it ain't going nowhere. Nowhere. You ain't got much time to, to repent. Yeah, this, this thing of ours is time sensitive. Cunt. This most definitely ain't the time to be playing. Why would you even want to play anyway? Right. You see shit getting bad, you know what I'm saying? They get there, a shortage on everything, but you still out here laughing like hell. Mm -hmm. Like ain't nothing going on. Yep. I had a quick one. Cunt. This is on 2nd Ezra chapter 14, <laughs> verse um, 16 in the reads, For yet greater evil mm -hmm. than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. Yes, the Lord's telling Ezra, look, there's going to be greater evils, man. It's going to come upon the earth. That people have not seen. You gotta go back to Matthew 24. Mm -hmm. The Lord said the time is coming, it's not gonna be a time like it. Yeah. Yep. I mean, you just sit back and think about the events that happened in the scriptures. All right? Things that are not written within the scriptures. Sure, you saw how people was bugging out in 2020. Yep. And then 2021. Yep. Leaping from buildings. Hey, yeah. and look at people. Yeah, oh, it's just so the brother you know I'm saying, bro. Diving from them big shits, though, bro. Ooh. I mean, diving from big shits, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know. Then you got these, uh, these, got these, all these models. You know what I'm saying they diving. You know what I'm saying yep. like they, they, like they yep. going to the damn pool. Yep. You know what I'm saying, yep. bro? Like they, like yep. they at the pool or something, bro. Just diving yep. right out the damn window. Yep. Not giving a damn. Looking good, but that pressure though. Yep. Yep. That pressure though. The Lord's starting to apply pressure, man. Mm -hmm. That's why we got to constantly pray, man. Pray, man. Ain't you no know, tell. Probably trying to find a spot. Somebody hit that car. Yeah, right. The car. Right there. Them people left their lights on. I don't even know. Yeah. You know that man and that woman, yeah, they yeah, went that way. Yeah. They left their lights on and they didn't even know. Oh well. Right, oh well. Right. I'm gonna read it again. Second Ezra chapter 14, verse 16, and it reads, For yet greater evils mm -hmm. than those which thou hast seen happen yep. shall be done hereafter. Yeah, man. We, we, you know, just my little bit of time is earth, man. I've seen Jake go through a lot, man. You know, how much more when Jake can't, there, there's no food out here. That's gonna be that's that's gonna be the main thing, man. No food out here, man. People can deal without clothing to a certain extent. You can deal without the video games. Right, yeah. You can deal without the uh, phone. The phone. But what you cannot deal without is, is, is without food. I know, right, bro? What good is a vehicle if it don't have gas? That's the right. food for it. Right. What good is a is a is a, 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 a man or a woman if they don't have the nourishment to keep them going, man? Right. And who wants to have sex on, on a damn stomach? You ain't had you ain't had nothing to eat in like two a month. Right. Who's thinking about sex, man? Right. You know? Ain't nobody think about it. You ain't got no damn energy any damn way. Right. You you barely walking. You done went a, a month without yeah. food. You yeah. probably ain't even walking, man. Yeah. You pre you pretty like this still. slow as hell like. Yep. That. Yep. Yep. I mean, you barely breathing, man. Mm -hmm. I got this for you, though. Yep. Lamentations chapter four, verse nine, and it reads, Cunt. they that be slain with with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. Yeah, man, you gotta take take the, uh, the Lord uh, words for, for, uh, for truth, man. Cause he's telling you, look, it's better to die by uh, uh, a sword, which is a gun or any kind of yep. instrument. Or somebody just throw a grenade in your pocket or something. Yeah, exactly, you know what I'm saying? exactly. You better off going out that way. It looks yep. gruesome and all that, but, yep. you know what I'm saying? You, you gone, you know what I'm yep. saying? No, that 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 moment, right? Is it, not gonna last long. Right. Okay. Yeah. Just like when you uh, let's say you have a toothache, an abscess tooth or something. All right. Would you rather suffer and just go through that pain like every so often, or would you rather go through that pain getting it just janked out? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You ain't gotta worry about the you pain. You gotta no worry more. about the pain yeah. no more. So that's what the Lord is saying. Look, because that that the uh, well, the scripture is gonna tell yeah. you why. Lamentations chapter four verse nine mm -hmm. and it reads. They that be slain with the sword uh -huh. are better than they that be slain with hunger. Right. For these pine away. Mm -hmm. Now you go into that word pine, it means to rot. Right away, yeah. Pretty much decay. Yep. Your body start eating itself from the inside out, bro. Yep. You know that shit gotta be something though, bro. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You know that shit gotta be painful as hell though, bro. Yep. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It says, um, for these pine away, mm -hmm. stricken through for the want of the fruits of the field. Yeah, man, because you're going to be desiring the food, man. Mm -hmm. you, and, you know, when you ain't have food, you think about some of the, some of everything, man. Yep. <clears throat> I always like to think about uh, <clears throat> those cartoons. Yeah. When they're in the desert, Hell and they yeah, look for water or they're hungry, the person that's with them, 
turns into a drum leg. Hell yeah, yo, a hot dog. <laughs> a hot dog with the bun, bro. With the mustard on it. You know what I'm saying, bro? Just standing there. You got to lick, yeah, yeah. licking your chops and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, I know, right? What are you, what are you, what's up? Oh, nothing, man. Oh, nothing, man. <laughs> talk, 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 talk. Oh, I think it's time to go to sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, you go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go down this way. You know that's what I'm right. That's right. Don't get bad, man. And that's when uh, Second Ezra's the 15, 16 chapter going to come into play, man. Yeah. So I'm gonna go right back. Right. Saint Luke chapter 21, verse um. Yeah, we got yeah, we yeah. yeah, yeah. Saint Luke chapter 21, verse 31. So likewise, wait a up. Now he said, I'm, I'm seeing what it says. In, in oh yeah, signs of the end. Of the end. You know what I'm saying? These are the signs. The end, the end of the road. <laughs> We're at the end of this road, man. And Jake can't let go. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. Jake can't let go. We're at the end of this road, man. The end has come. The end has come. It watches for thee. The end yeah. has come, man. Yeah. You see? You're right, bro. Signs of the end, bro. You see? So going right back, St. Mm -hmm. Luke chapter 21, verse 31. Yep. And it reads, so likewise ye, when ye see these things come to pass, uh -huh. know ye that the kingdom of the Most High is at hand. Yeah, so when you see these things starting to come to pass, knowing the kingdom is at hand, man. We gotta be looking up for our redemption is nigh, man. Mm -hmm. It's close. Yep. So what the Lord is speaking is happily actually happening in our lifetime, man. Mm -hmm. Near than what we believe. That's right. <laughs> you, know, just, you know, it says, um, it says, verily I say unto you, uh -huh. this generation shall not pass away till right. so all be fulfilled. You hear that, non believers? It's not gonna happen. Go back to Romans 3 and 3, man. Just because you don't believe it don't mean it ain't going to come to pass. Mm -hmm. We just read in Ezekiel 12, it's going to come to pass <laughs> in your mm -hmm. lifetime. And look, in this generation. This generation. Going right back to what you read earlier in Ezekiel, was it the 14th chapter? 12. The 12th chapter, yeah. 12th yep. chapter, you know what I'm saying? Uh, these words would not be prolonged anymore. That's right. The Lord That's said right. in this generation, right? That's right. It says, um... <clears throat> And, and, and going back to second, man. No, you got it. Second address 15, because wickedness has sincerely pulled the whole earth, man. Yeah. You know? It says, um, <clears throat> Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away to all be fulfilled. Yep. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass mm -hmm. away. So these words will always be in full effect, right? And that's something you got to uh, 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 get up here and understand. These words are here to stay. What is that yep. right there, bro? Is that a plane or a chariot right there? That's a plane, ain't it? Yes, yeah, a plane. It's a plane? Yeah, I saw it. I see it blinking. All right, cool. Yeah. It says, um, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. But the words, what the Lord says written, is not going to pass away, man. Yep. It says, um, and take heed to yourselves. Mm -hmm. Lisa, at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting, Yep. And drunkenness. An excess amount, man. All right. And the heart going back to the Hebrew word law, which means your mind. Mm -hmm. It says, um, Lisa, at any time, your heart, that's why we got to be paying attention, mm -hmm. watching as well as praying, right? Yep. Lisa, at any time, your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting mm -hmm. and drunkenness yep. and the cares of this life. That's why we're not supposed to be focused on this life, man. We're in this world, but we're not supposed to be in this world. Yeah. Man. You know? We say, um, use the word, but don't abuse it. That's right. So you get in, you get out. You yep. know what I'm saying? Yep. Double Dutch. Yeah. It says, um, in the cares of this life, so, and that's what's happening. The majority of the, um, the men and women that heard about the truth, they, they too much worried about what's going on in the world. Yep. They're saying, no, the cares of this, um, work, the affairs of the, of the world, end up choking them out, bro. Yeah. They go right back into the world, bro. Yep. Yep. I'm not having enough fun. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It's yep. boring now. I know I'm not seeing yep. my family like I used to. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I, I miss the club. Yep. You know what I'm saying? All this other nonsense, yep. right? Yep. I miss the pool parties on Saturdays. You know what I'm saying, bro? The pajama and also, parties. Yeah, the pajama parties <laughs> on Saturdays. I, I've always got to be out there with the brothers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm tired of cooking for my husband. <laughs> I know, right? I'm tired of having my head wrapped and all this mm. other nonsense. The cares of this world, man. Talking you know what I'm saying? Yep. Go to go go to watching too much damn entertainment, bro. Mm -hmm. Watching women twerking all, and that's thing you know you don't want to take heed to the truth no more. You on the um, OnlyFans page. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So you don't want to let the cares of this life, you know what I'm saying, choke you out, man. Right. You see? It says, um, and so that day come upon you unaware. That's right, because you haven't been watching. What day? The day of the Lord. It's gonna catch our people unawares, man. Mm -hmm. 
I always like to say, like, with your pants down, your hands in the cookie jar. Yeah, yeah, bro. You know? Looking all crazy, Oops. you know what I'm saying? I know, right, bro? <laughs> Looking all crazy, Eyes right? All big. You know what I'm saying? But that's what's gonna happen when you go to the store and, and it, it's, it's, it's wiped out. Yeah. You know? You was too busy clubbing, you know what I'm saying? While the damn grocery stores are being emptied out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You was, you was too busy, you know what I'm saying, trying to um make your Facebook page, yep. I call it fake book, make your fake book right. page boom off, you know what right. I'm saying? You ain't even keeping up with the privacy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You know, you can't go, you, you've been so caught up in what the world, you know what I'm saying, has to offer, you, you, you don't even realize that you gotta, you know what I'm saying, have um, a seat here to get into the grocery store now. Mm -hmm. yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Oh, you got to take this other kind of juice. You got to drink. They got some more Capri Sun for you now. Concoction. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you go to work, you don't even know. You ain't even watching the news. You know what I'm saying? Right. The, the news was on this morning. You know what I'm saying? But you forgot to watch it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. they, they was telling everybody in, in order to, for you to go into these certain buildings, you, know yep. saying? you got to drink that concoction mm -hmm. or that Capri Sun. You know what I'm saying? Yep. It's, a new, it's a new flavor. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. They got the grape now. Yep. You know what I'm saying? They had the cherry yep. flavor, but now they got the right. grape flavor, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can see it now, but I, 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 I got a quote or I got to be you gotta drink the concoction. Right, sir. right. It says, um, <laughs> for as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Yeah, so this trap, all right, you going to the word snare is a trap. We're gonna come upon all them that have not been uh, watching. Yeah. Have not been uh, 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 focused on, on what's around them. Yep. Which is the the prophecy, man. We're supposed to be occupied in prophecy. Yeah. Going back, right back to Sirach 39. 39. Yep. It says, um, nah, nah, you ain't got to get it. It says, watch ye therefore and, and pray always. Always. Go back to Thessalonians, the, uh, is it the fifth chapter? Yep. Pray without ceasing. Yep. All right. Well, matter of fact, I think it's the fourth, it's the fourth chapter. The fourth you chapter. You want it? Come. I'll get it right quick. All right. It says, pray always. So we always will be in a state of mind of, of, of begging the Lord. Yep. Man. Cause that's what you're doing when you're praying. You're begging the Lord. That's one of our weapons, man. <coughs> that's that's right. one of our main weapons. That's right. You was right though. It was the fifth chapter. Kind. Yeah. You know, it's like you gonna beg someone. You gonna you gonna you gonna beg your boss, your yeah. woman, your man, your right. Esau. Why not? Why not beg the Lord, man? That's right. This is um First Thessalonians chapter five, verse um seventeen. Kind. Pray without ceasing. That's plain. That's plain. Pray without ceasing you don't stop right you know morning noon and night right hey, hey look that, that demon diddy said it man can't stop won't stop won't stop i know right you bro know? Uh -uh, uh -uh. <laughs> uh -uh, uh -uh. that's right man because our lives depend on it man our salvation we live in some very critical and crucial times mm -hmm. man we can't be a broken record enough for our people to tell right them. i'm looking for something right quick. Gun. they said watch ye therefore and pray always that what you are able to found worthy to escape the things that are coming upon the earth. All right, roughly paraphrasing that loop that you, uh, that you um, was uh, bringing out. Uh, I, I finished. <clears throat> this one I want to get though. What's that one in? Um, I always forget what it said in um, Psalms. Was says morning, noon, and night, praying to the Lord. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to um, Google it. Right. I got it. If you want I bring it. Yeah, bring it. Bring, uh, bring that, bro. Since we just um, read that part about praying. So you so you say what's that on be like shit. You know what I'm saying? I know it ain't 50, is it? It says morning, noon, and night when I pray yeah, into yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, I know you're talking about. Always 55? 55, yeah. 17? Yeah. Morning? Yeah, read that. Oh, what would 16 say? Uh, yeah, read 16 first. Come. Yeah. You could have clicked in the middle. Yeah, I, I, yeah. It's uh, the book of Psalms, 55, verse 16. Yeah. It says, it says, me, it says watch as well as yep, pray, right? Yep, yep. You got yep, it. Yep, uh, hey, this, this is perfect. Yep. Uh, Isaiah, I mean, Isaiah, Psalms 55 and 16, as for me, right. I will call upon you, how will See, then you know right there we got the name. You see? Then you know we got the name. As for me, in my household, we will serve the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. We're going to call on the Lord. As for me, what is it say, bro? Yep. Psalms 55 and 16. Right. As for me, I will call upon Yahweh. That's why the Lord said, work out your own yep. salvation with fear and trembling. Yep. As for me, I will call upon Yahweh, but Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Go ahead. Yep. It says, and the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, 
shall save me. Right, and that's our hope. That's our faith, man. To call, to call on those names and be delivered, you know what I'm saying, from yep. our enemies, bro. Yep. You see? When it's time to eat, you know what I'm saying, it's a famine uh, across the land, you know what I'm saying? Well, the scripture says it's going to be worse than ancient Egypt, bro. Yep. You, see, you saw, you read the accounts of ancient Egypt, that famine hit so hard, bro. People were willing to give everything. everything. People sold themselves into bondage, bro. Yep. Just for something to eat, bro. Yep. They sold everything, bro. They yep. sold their mm -hmm. land, they sold their houses, and they said, we ain't got nothing else but ourselves, though. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So they sold themselves, man, into slavery just for something to eat, bro. Yep. Then you know right there how bad that famine was, and the Lord said, it, 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 What's coming now, you can't even compare it, you know what I'm saying, to nothing that happened before then. Yep. You got it. Done. It reads on. But you want to get something? Uh, yeah, but it's, it's cool. It says, um, Psalms 55 and 17, evening and morning and at noon, right. I will pray and cry aloud, right. and he shall hear my voice. Right, you know what I'm saying, right before you about to leave the crib, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Your goings and your comings, pray to the Lord before you go to sleep. When you wake up, before you eat something, I always pray. You can say little prayers, you know what I'm saying? Little quick ones, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Before brothers pull off, you know what I'm saying? Quick little prayer, you know what I'm saying? Yep. A minute long, probably, you know yep. what I'm saying? If yep. that, you know what I'm saying? A couple seconds, yep. 30 seconds, 40 seconds, whatever it be, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Something quick, then you go on about your business, man. Yep. That's that's one of our, our main weapons, your prayer. Yep. You, you guys ain't praying enough, man. Yep. We gotta most definitely be praying all the time, man. Yep. Straight up, the, the scripture we just read earlier, pray without ceasing, man. Yep. Any more to that, bro? Um, said, oh yeah, then remember the Lord said, hear the prayers of the righteous, yep. and his ears are open until their cry. But but he would not hear the evil doers, man. That's right. You see? That's right, that was it. That was it on that? Yeah. Right. So let me go right back. Right. Go right on back. St. Luke 21 and 36, and it reads, watch ye therefore, mm -hmm. and pray always, yep. that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. And we just read some of the things in Matthew 24 chapter. Yep. Wars, rumors of wars, the wars gonna come here, man. Right. All right, the, the, the pestilence, the famines, the earthquakes. It's a lot of Jake saying surviving earthquakes, yeah, man. Yeah, hell no. You know? More floods. More floods, yeah. It's, it's gonna be cold, violent out here, man. Yep. The love of many, um, that, um, in the go, well, not in the go, but um, the GMS on the go in the news, right? About that dude, you know what I'm saying? They um, they chopped up his girlfriend, and a small little piece yep. and flushed my man. It's gonna be more of that, man. Just like over there in these third world countries, remember that video where, where that dude was walking down the street with his woman's head? Yep. I'm saying just walking, just walking, yep. bro. Yep. It's gonna be more of that. It's gonna be that here, man, mm -hmm. in Babylon. Mm -hmm. It's, it's gonna be worse of here, man. Yep. You see? Can I bring it? Yep. This is say Matthew 24, and uh, I'll get it 12. Yeah. Uh, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Right. Wickedness has exceedingly proved the mm -hmm. whole earth. So now people ain't even giving a damn no more. What they do to you? The people ain't feeling no remorse either. When yep. people do you do you dirty nowadays, there's no remorse, no man. Remorse. They feel good. People do good, feel good about robbing you now. Yep. People feel good when they bust your head to the white meat. You know what I'm saying? People feel good when they get over. People feel good when they lie to you nowadays, man. You see? Yep. Man, these people out here ain't sincere. No. That's why no. that's why that's why the scripture say um and all flesh will, will sort to its kind. It's kind, yeah. So you be around the people that's just like you. You know yep. what I'm saying? Yep. You got it, bro. It says, uh, say Matthew 24 and 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Right, you know what I'm saying? So the Lord, a whole lot of turbulence is coming. The Lord's like, yo, we ain't saved yet. Right. He that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. And that's our hope, hoping to be saved. Because we're prisoners of hope. Yep. We're hoping to be saved. And that's why we watch and praying. Yeah. It's a lot of shit we got to make through, man. Lord willing, bro. Shit's getting it bad out here. Shit, man. Look, man, we just we just rode past the park. You know what I'm saying? We was nothing but young. Jake's homeless as fuck, yeah. man. There's at least about 50 of them. Yeah. Nowhere to go, bro. Just, just hanging around the streets all night, bro. Walking up and down the street, bro. That's judgment from the Lord. And once these restaurants and stores start closing down, ain't nothing for Jake I eat, to eat out here, bro. Yeah, nobody bro. ain't get, ain't none of these restaurants giving nobody no helping hand, bro. Nah. You see? What you got, bro? Uh, oh yeah, the last part. Somebody yeah. just think it's strong as hell, yeah, yeah, right? And to stand before the son of man. And to stand like they dropped it like behind us. That demon. Yeah. And and to stand before the son of man. Right? You don't be able to stand before the son of man and, and wickedness. Right. You know, going back to Acts the third chapter. You want to be uh, 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 forgiven. All right? That's why it starts with repenting. Oh, yeah, because the slain of the Lord shall be many. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we can get From one end of the earth to the other end of the earth, man. Yep. 
Yep. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna get that on. Um, Why you? Whenever you get what you got, I'm gonna get that on um, that second as was the fifteenth chapter. Yep. This is. Uh, I might read a couple of the comment board too before we wrap it up. Okay. This is the second Ezra, chapter eight, verse fifty. Yep, you got it. For many great miseries, a whole lot of hell, man. Confusion, destruction. Let's get ready to fall out of people. It says, for many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time, and we are in the latter time. All right, we know the uh, second Ezra, the sixth chapter, for Esau is the end of the world, end of an age, and Jacob is the, the twelve tribes of Israel, so-called Blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, right? Our next to rule is the beginning of following. It says, in a latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. And everyone's walking around here in, in, in the prideful spirit, man. Right. Or even, even the tribes that come over, all right, from the uh, from the Caribbean, they look down upon Judah, mm -hmm. man. Benjamin, Levi, all of them, man. Simeon, all right. Like we ain't been over here catching hell, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like we ain't been over here slaving and mm -hmm. torn, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like Jake just been over here fucking relaxing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we came over here on a love boat and shit, right? <laughs> I got a definition for misery. Okay. This is misery, a state or feeling of great distress mm -hmm. or comfort of mind and or body. Yeah, look, and it's not gonna be enough uh, 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 Newports to get you through the situation. Hell man. no. You know? Yeah, cause they try to smoke cigarettes they got them for a stress relief. Yep. No, matter of fact, it ain't gonna be no more cigarettes. It ain't gonna be no more cigarettes, man. You know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna be nothing but a bunch of just hauling ass and yep. trying to get the hell out of Dodge, man. Yep. And, yep. If, and if you do find somebody with a cigarette, you, you, I mean, you, you got to really get something, not to get one, man. Yep. Going right back, remember that um, the, the, the um, episode, pretty much a series, The Walking Dead? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Egan in there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on, man, you had to put in some work to yep. get a cigarette. Yep. You had to put in some work to get a um, soft bite to eat. Yep. It's gonna be um, it's gonna be um, little um, groups. You know what I'm saying, gathering up and yep. shit. You know what I'm saying, yep. controlling this part of the um, this block. You know what I'm yep. saying, that and the third. You know what I mean? Well, it tells you that so as this uh, 16th chapter, there'll be two or three left with the sword, invading houses. From paraphrasing, it's gonna get Jake gonna be doing more running and smoking it in the damn way. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to get the hell out of Dodge, man. Yep. Well, so I'm bringing hell to the earth, man. Yep. Which condition played out on earth? Yep. Um, once again, misery, unhappiness, mm -hmm. distress. Unhappiness, why is that? Look, going back to St. Matthew 10. The Lord said he coming to bring the vision, man. Well, we gotta do this, huh? Hey, you on your own. Yeah. We gotta stick together. Yeah, yeah. You on your own, I'm going this way. <laughs> I'm going this okay, way. you slowing me down. Right. <laughs> They got they saw we got out. Yeah. You know? Anyway, distress. Distress, extreme anxiety, sorrow, or pain. And a lot of people have, uh, take uh anxiety, distress pills to get through the day. Well, at least he was listening to something better than that other nonsense, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know. Yeah. And that's gonna be all out the door, man. The Lord's not gonna have you look what's coming down the pipeline, you got to go through sober. Yep. Alright? Yep. It says um, extreme anxiety, mm -hmm. sorrow or pain, yep. um, suffering. Suffering, man. You know, it, 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 these people, look, when it comes down to no food, you got to see which uh, child you're going to chop up, right? Seeing who you're going to uh, 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 pull a fast one on. Yeah. To get over this, it's only going to come back on you because you're yep. being wicked. Right. You know? Hey, look, man, these people are not going to know what to do because they don't have Isaiah 33 and 6. It's going to be judgment on top of ju judgment. going to run like waters, man. going to flow like waters, man. Okay. Anxiety, mm -hmm. a feeling of worry, nervousness, or unease. Yeah, worriness or unease, man. Yep. You know? You know, I... Get the jitters and shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? You can't sit down, you yeah. know what I'm saying? you just looking around and shit, all nervous and, and don't, shit. Don't hit nothing. Because shit going to be happening, you <laughs> know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> gonna have to keep your head on a swivel man That's keep right. your head's gonna be getting knocked off bro off their shoulders right it says typically about an imminent event or something with Ooh. an uncertain outcome Ooh, what's that imminent event yeah. jacob's trouble yeah martial law martial law you know what i'm saying fucking militia groups you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. coming through because you remember them race wars the class wars and civil wars mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying all um, them gender wars gonna yep. pop off yep I mean, guys has been deprived, you know what I'm saying? Go, go, go find that woman that's yeah. been bullshitting them yeah. around. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I gave you all this money on, uh, uh, what's I that paid name? your damn rent, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, All yeah. them damn months, yo. Yep, yep. 
Just look at your feet. I brought you a damn Birkin bag, right. you know what I'm saying? And you front, you left me, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Fine for Kato, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, man, we having fun, man. Yo, man. <laughs> you gonna ooze, you gonna ooze upside their head, yeah, man. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. What's up? Um, <laughs> going right. Uh, really? I love it. Yeah, all right, that's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, hey, hey, they, they say they love Bible study. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey. We give them something to study. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Exactly. Bible study. Exactly. <laughs> Man, they was gawking like hell, though, yeah. right? At least they kept it PG, yeah, though. Yeah, from back then. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Eve comes through this motherfucker talking loud as hell. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? With a McDonald's bag. Yeah. <laughs> you know. It says, oh, yeah, anxiety, fear. Fear. Yeah, a lot of fear is going to befall our people because they're not going to have any answers, man. Yeah. Even the men of our nation are not going to have any answers. Say, oh, yeah, bro, look, the shakes. The shakes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Jump, the, the, the jumps. The jumps, because look. As soon as they hear something, it could be a fucking a yeah. squirrel, you know what I'm yeah. saying? It's coming yeah. over the leaves and all that, you know what I'm saying? They bugging out yeah. a lot, bro. Yeah, yeah. Twitter twitching, twitching this. Twitching. You know what I'm saying? Cockle doodles. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of this is going to have to do with uh, our people detoxing from all the stuff that that was on. Yeah. Because it's not going to be uh, uh, readily available to them anymore. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. That's pretty much it. Misfortune, yeah. difficulty, problems. Yeah, it's gonna it's be going a, into misery. Yeah, you got it. it's gonna be a a, a, a a very great misfortune for our people. Mm -hmm. Let's go on back to uh, Second Ezra, the first chapter. Then they gonna know that the prophet had been among them, bro. <laughs> then they gonna know that the prophet had been among them, man. Huh? It's gonna take all hell to break loose, though, bro. Yep. It's gonna have to take yep. them being yep. chased, you know what I'm saying, by a mob of people, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? For them to be like, damn, them dudes said that was gonna happen, man. Yep. I didn't believe him. Damn. Yep. Look, bro. Damn. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Man, for dog horns. Yeah. Horns. <laughs> what do I run, horns? <laughs> run to your death, essay. <laughs> you know? Pray that it's quick. <laughs> right. But, but I'm pretty sure it won't be. All right. All right. As I said, pray that it's quick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you was finished with that, bro? No. Uh, yep, because they walked in great, great pride. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yep. Um, what, what else we want, bro? Because we already been going an hour, 11 minutes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, that's it. That's it. Let me check the comment board right yeah, quick. Yeah, that's it. I mean, we got plenty of scriptures. Like, yeah, I mean, we, always I mean, going, yeah, yeah. we could go on for going for days. That's how it's beating us <laughs> when you're with your brothers, though. Okay. There's so many brothers flooding the comments, you know what I'm saying? Huh. I'm pretty sure yours, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Yeah, oh, it's looking, it's looking now. <laughs> Let's get it, brother. <laughs> He's funny, man. Let's see what's up here. A shout out to all the Akims, Wild Akwaf, you know what I'm saying? It's tuning in. Listening to the best of their ability, praying like I don't know what, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know why I matched that. It ain't going to get everything anyway. Yeah. The other brothers, the other comments up there. We'll just get some off here, and then we'll wrap it up. Okay. We'll read that since that Psalms um, 51 is up there. We'll read that. Yeah. Psalms chapter 51, verse 10, creating me a clean heart, mm -hmm. O Yahweh, and renew a right spirit within me. Now, why is King David saying this? Creating me a new heart. Yeah. Because the mind that has been created us from the time we came out the womb has been filth. Yeah. Micah 2 and 10. Yep. It says, um, cast me not away from thy presence mm -hmm. and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. That's why you look, man. Take heed to what the uh, uh, what you've been taught through the apostles and elders, man. Yep. Continuing the things thou hast learned. Has learned. That's right. Continuing the things thou hast learned and has been assured yeah, of. Been assured of. Knowing of whom thou hast learned them from. That's right. You see? That's you right. got guys that don't want to listen to the apostles no mm -hmm. more. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They don't want to listen to the um the um the elder bishops no more. Right. And the men that the Lord set up. Nah, nah, nah. I'm, I'm gonna listen to somebody else now. Right. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start listening to guys that are bucking up against the apostles. That ain't the way. See? That ain't but the then way. the Lord take his, his Holy Spirit away from you. Then the cock with dash, you know what I'm saying? Yep. You know. Then what? You threw them. You threw, man. You threw them. It says, cast me not away from thy presence and take not that Holy Spirit from me. Yeah, man, take out that Holy Spirit, which is with, with what we have right now. That's why we got to pray that the Lord keeps it on us, man. But you got to pull your weight, too. You got to do what's commanded of you, man. Right? Your brothers put a lot of screen. We ain't going to be able to get to all of them, but the water bros. Let's see. 
Oh yeah, uh, Isaiah 30 and 12. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord, this is like it. Wherefore, thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word mm -hmm. and trust in oppression yep. and perverseness mm -hmm. and stay thereon. Yep. Our people trust in oppression. Yep. That's why they voting, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. they, they trust that this place is gonna finally give them a chance. You know yep. what I'm saying? It's gonna give them the opportunity that they've been praying for for all so long, they right? They think the leopard gonna change the spots. Yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. The leopard just gonna wake up with no spots, yeah, right, bro? Those spots. Oh yeah, the scriptures say um, he can't do good. It was created to do evil. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just roughly paraphrasing. Yep. It says um, therefore his iniquity shall be uh, be to you as a breach ready to fall. Mm -hmm. Swelling out in a high wall whose breaking coming suddenly at an instant, man. So you you praying for this place to get better, you know what right. I'm saying? For you and this devil to show you love, it's gonna all come crumbling down, yo. Yep. Like you quoted um Michael 2 and 10. Mm -hmm. This is not our rest, it's polluted. Yep. It the, shall destroy you. You gotta bro. If I may say the further you go out to the branch, the weaker that branch yeah. gets. Yeah. You know? And now people are going further, further, deeper, deeper into this place, man. That's right. And look, they ain't gonna do nothing but fall. Uh, Proverbs. I'm just, I'm just going to go the water bros, but I ain't going to be able to get all of it because me and the brother about to wrap it up. Just want to hit some points right quick. Proverbs 1 and 7, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, mm -hmm. but fools despise wisdom and instruction. And that's what we went off that. We went off by not fearing the Lord. We, we forgot about that, man. Yep. All right, but that's where the knowledge starts. And then it grows from there. Knowing what to do, what not to do to please the Heavenly Father, man. Mm -hmm. But the average, average Israelites are fools, so they're not going to take heed to the instructions. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? What we're, we're teaching, you know what I'm saying, is folly to them. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. The description say um, folly is joy to those that are destitute of wisdom. That's right. A bunch of can't get rights, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Sirach 33 and 1. That shall no, did you read this earlier? Mm -hmm. Sirach 33 and 1? No. Sirach 33 and 1. That, that was wisdom of Solomon 3. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was wisdom of Solomon 3. Sirach also mm -hmm. known as Ecclesiastes chapter 33 verse 1 mm -hmm. There shall no evil happen unto him yep. that feareth the Lord. Hey, back it up that Psalms 34. And uh, that was in Psalm 3 we read. Mm -hmm. All right, no evil, no bad times are going to happen to those that fear, man. And once again, fear means to be really terrified of someone or yep. something that can cause pain. Mm -hmm. Jake going to be getting slayed left and right, bro. Yep. Scripture says a thousand shall fall on this side and ten, ten thousand, thousand on that side, bro. It's going to be men, women, and children, bro. Because remember, the, this, um, the Lord told the angels to go and slay utterly old oh, and young, young, bro. Young. Look, look, don't let your eyes spare. Don't spare them at all. You know what I'm saying, bro? He you see? He's pity, right? <laughs> Know what I'm saying? Go on you. Um, it says, um, that was edited. Oh yeah, um, um, I'm gonna read it again. So Rock 33 and 1. Mm -hmm. um, there shall no evil happen unto him that or her that feareth the Lord. Yep. But in temptation, even again, he will deliver them. Yeah, the Lord's gonna make a way. He's gonna make a, a, a backdoor escape for us, man. Yep. We just gotta keep fearing doing what he commands of us. That's it, yep. man. Lord willing, we of that number. Lord willing. It's gonna be a beautiful thing if we is, though. Yeah. You know, and it's gonna put more fear in us, man. You see, oh, going going right back to um, Joe. You, you're gonna know that it won't want nothing better than to fear the Lord. I think that's in the apocryphal. When it says um, you are gonna know that it won't want nothing better yeah, than yeah, to yeah, fear yeah, the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's in the apocryphal, right? You see. Why are you looking for that? I, I get this. This is a rock chapter 19, verse 18. The fear of the Lord is the first step, bro. Yeah. It's the first step to That's be right. accepted up of him and wisdom obtaining his love, bro. Okay. Yep. Yep. So, so you want the Lord to accept you? Israelites out there, you want the Lord to accept you? It starts off with the fear, man. Yep. The fear of the Lord, man. That's right. That's the first step of being accepted of the Lord. Yep. So the Israelites out here, they're not the so-called Negroes, Latins, and Native Americans, and the um, scattered Israelites, the Israelite foreigners, that are not fearing the Lord, and the Lord ain't accepting you, man. That's right. Since the fear of the Lord is the first step of being accepted, accepted. of the Lord, man. Accepted. Yep. The Lord ain't accepting Israel, the Israelites that are not fearing them, bro. Yep. Scary man, yep. family members included, bro. Yep, you got it, bro. Yep, you was right. You was right. It's rock 23 and 27. And they that remain shall know that there is nothing better than the fear of the Lord, and there is nothing sweeter, or sweet, right? Sweet <laughs> than to take heed unto the commandments of the Lord. Yeah, listening. Yep, listening. It said the scripture says, if you bow down your ear, no saying you'll become wise. Yep. The Lord said, no saying, um, the Lord commands us to listen, man. Yep. 
do more listening. That's why the Lord gave us two ears yep. and one mouth. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to be doing more listening than talking, man. That's it. You know, and and when all this on all this deaf and destruction coming, we ain't been hearing nothing but ambulances, right, yeah. bro? Some people getting judged out here yeah, tonight, right? Fourth, fifth one. It's just about the fourth or fifth ambulance we didn't heard in the background, man. So there's a whole lot of judgment going on going forth to the people that ain't fearing the Lord. That's right. You gonna know that all hell gonna break loose, and we're gonna know that ain't nothing want nothing better than the fear of the Lord, man. Yep. Jake's gonna be in concentration camps through, bro. Yep. They're gonna end up in the concentration camp with their eyes gouged out and everything, bro. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Yeah, it says they that remain uh shall not remain from what though? What are we re remaining from? Yep. The the undesirables. You know, the one like you was going into, these concentration camps, go willing, we up in them chariot yeah. chariot that chariot looking down. Yeah. You know? Boom, boom. I was going to get that on um, that second Peter, the third chapter, but yeah, it's all good, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like you said, we'll keep, keep yeah, going. We'll be here all day. I'm going to read a couple more, and then we out, bro. Energize a bunny stuff. Yep, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it says, um, this is um second... First King chapter 10, verse 8. Brother, brother put some heat up there. Okay. First King, you know what I'm saying? Well, I wish we didn't have to stop, but you know, this right. brother got to work in the morning. I got to work in the morning. Okay. We really basically just not getting off. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, got off and yeah. came straight here, came man. Straight, yep. Boom, 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 boom. You know what I'm saying? This is um First King chapter 10, Probably verse said, 8. Yeah. Lord said, give him no rest. Right, yeah. You know? Yeah, bro. And she made Jerusalem a praise, praise in the earth, earth man. That's right. And we ain't brought that out in a while. Right. You know what I'm saying? 62. Oh look, gotta always revert, revert, revert right back to the basics. You know what I'm That's saying? That's right. That's right. This is uh, First Kings chapter ten, verse eight. Happy are thy men. Mm -hmm. Happy are these thy servants, yep. which stand continually before thee, and that hear thy wisdom. Ooh, you got that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so, so yeah. Remember, happy is the man that get him wisdom. Yeah, probably. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. constantly paying attention to what's yeah. going on. It's constantly hearing what the prophets are saying. So not with the head apostles. Mm -hmm. the, the Lord set those men up. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Those great men up, man. So the Lord says it's, it's a it's, it's wisdom unto you. You know yep. what I'm saying? It's a beautiful thing. It's, look, you should be happy yep. that the Lord got you taking here to these words, man. Yep. You see? He says, happy is thy servant, bro. That's right. Happy are the men, you know what I'm saying? And the women that are serving you. How about Shimmy I was shy, man? Mm -hmm. You see? Yep. It says, um, and this is another one. So Rock 18, 20, before judgment, examine, examine thyself. thyself. Yep. And in the day of visitation, thou shalt find mercy. That's right. That's right. And, and I, I always bring this out. You know, it's, it's, that's every day the Lord allows you to wake up, man. Constantly examine yourself, man. Yeah. Because the, the, uh, uh, Satan is seeking to uh, uh, sift you, man. Mm hmm And that way he told Peter. Brothers, little, little brothers, the waterfall, this heat. Y'all put up, man. I wish we could read every scripture, but you know we'll be here for another hour, man. Uh -huh. But the things that are written aforetime, I'll read this in closing. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. And that's plain, man. What's, what, what's written, what we need on this earth, is right here. It's right here. Yep. Right? And going back to uh, uh, Jeremiah 3 and 15. We got our apostles and elders to feed us with it and yep. feed, feeding you with it, man. That's right, bro. You know? So Lord willing, man, look. You know, just water y'all by Shimon Shah like we Continue with, to take heed, continue yeah, to listen. Get up with the brother, and you know, Lord will this lesson was edifying, look, man. Stay in order. That's it. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said, let everything be done decently in order. When we out there on the highways and byways, when we first, when the Lord first brought us in the truth, you know what I'm saying? We started going out there on the highways and byways, we was acting a fool and all that. But, but look, you should be growing. You should have grew out of that stage already. Yeah. A soft answer, turning for a rap. Somebody come up and ask where a pizza shop at? Yeah. Oh yeah, the pizza shop down the yeah. street, bro. Yeah. Oh yeah, um, you know um, where such and such store at? Oh yeah, I think it's down that way. Yeah. And continue on preaching, yeah. man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You know? You add coals to the fire, you know what I'm saying? It's going to make the fire rise, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? You add water to the fire, the mm -hmm. fire going to go out. That's it. So we got to be wise out here, man. We got to be more wise. Wise as serpent harms as doves, man. You know? The Lord sent us forth as doves, man. That's it. As, as lambs. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So we got to act accordingly, man. You know, we got we to rule of our spirits more. And that, that comes through um, experience, and it comes through prayer, first and foremost. You got to pray for these things, man. Yep. You know? It tells you that in the pocket of wisdom is the crown of experience. Because most definitely, the Lord going to judge the other Israelite groups, man, that are, that are showing that mannerisms and, and recording it, bro. That's Ezekiel 9, too. Some, some, uh, what happens to us all the time? Somebody really? come up, you know what I'm saying? They go to talking or whatever. Yep. We ignore them and just keep preaching. Keep preaching. 
get out of here, I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do something. Yeah. Now we don't get into all of that, man. It's just the devil. He should brothers be. out there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, up and coming brothers just, just, just now hitting the streets, man. Look, be, be wise out there on the streets, man. We got this wisdom for a reason, man. We need to use it and be wise with using it when we out doing the highways and byways. Can't just be a hot head every time you go to the highways and byways, man. Shit, the Lord will send some shit your way, man. Straight up, man. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna like it, man. Right. You, you end up like this. Yep. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures yep. told us to suffer for well doing, man. Yep. Not for evil doing, for man. Evil. So I just, I just want to throw that out there, man. Get the Beautiful. apostles, you know what I'm saying, making more videos of brothers just being more wise out there on the highways and byways, man. You see? Yep. Wise as serpents, harmless as doves, man. Yep. You got it, bro. Hey, look, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father's only begotten Son. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostle, Elder Great Millstone. Hey, look, DTA, DTA Abba, 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 Abba